Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm starting out outside the gym just because I decided I better go back and uh, heal my Pokemon before I face Giovanni because I do not want to underestimate him. You know, I underestimate any final trainers in this game to my peril. But first, we bow to his majesty, the Karate King. <laughs> yes, remember how like back in the seventh gym of the Unova region, it's like one guy claimed to be the Karate King? Well, here is the true king of karate with his level 38 Machop. Hmm. I thought this would be a little bit more... I don't know... Glorious? Well, whatever. So, anyway, it's not really a good idea. For anybody who cares at all about uh, effort value training, it's not a good idea to send uh, Alakazam against Machop or Machoke or whatever. Oh, I'm trying to learn Safeguard. No, thank you. That's okay. Alright, Sakushi sent out Machoke. Alright, fight, Psychic. I'm trying to think right now. Uh, oh, right. You don't want to have Alakazam against this because it gives you, you know, attack effort values, and you don't want to have Alakazam doing, like, attack stuff. All right. So the reason I was trying to think here is because now that Dragonair is at level 53, do I want to level Dragonair anymore, or do I just want to use the rare candies and have done with it? Hmm. Alright, the Pokemon League, you don't get cocky. Yeah, this guy's got a fair point. Me as a trainer, I wouldn't last very long against the Pokemon League. Like I said, most of the trainers in this game are probably better than me, or at least, you know, they better be better than me if they're gonna survive through this update. Alright, so here's Giovanni. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. So, now that he, the Dragon, Dragonair doesn't have the XP share, I'm only going to have to use up two rare candies to get it to final Dragon Dragonite form. Uh, we're close enough. Uh, it's too bad that my max obedience level is 54. If it were only 56, I could totally take on Giovanni with a Dragonite. Uh, as it stands, Alakazam is going to be my out front Pokemon. Uh, he probably still has Honchkrow, doesn't he? Crap, I forgot about that. Ah, screw it, let's go in. Fwahaha, welcome to my hideout. It shall be so till I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory, but you found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. <laughs> oh crap, he was holding back this whole time. How many Pokemon does he have? Jeez, dude, he's got a Rhyperior! Oh man, it's level 52, oh! <laughs> I'm in trouble, dude. I'm in serious trouble. Let's go ahead and use Reflect. I might live through one of his moves, but I doubt it. Watch, he's gonna use Earthquake, right? I'm pretty okay. I'm probably still gonna die from this. Oh, I barely lived through it. Ah, uh, I don't regret sending out Alakazam as my first Pokemon. Man, that didn't even take down half his health. Jeez, dude. All right. So you know what? It's still a glorified Rhydon. So let's uh, send out Swampert to clean up this mess. And let's use Surf, because it's a special type move. And I know that his Solid Rock is going to keep Surf from doing times 4 damage, but hey, it's still going to do times 2 damage, and it'll still be enough to knock him out. Swampert's level 49 now, and there's a reason for that. Alright, Nidoqueen. Queen. Okay, so... I want to say that Rhyperior was his strongest Pokémon, but I'm afraid it might not be. He's a nice beam on me. That's weird. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm surprised- Nidoqueen's not the type that's got very good special attack, so I wasn't expecting much from my victory. Crap! Dang it! Actually, no, 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 I shouldn't complain. This is a good thing. That means he's gonna use a max potion on this Nidoqueen, and then I'm gonna take it down to, like, a sliver of health again, and then he's probably gonna use another max potion, and then it'll be back to another sliver of health, and so on and so forth, until he uses up all his healing items. Crap. You know, like, it's times like this where I don't want a critical hit, just so that I can make him use all his healing items, but... Whatever, I mean, a victory is a victory. Middle King's Earthquake, this is gonna hurt. Eh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but one more Earthquake will still down my, my main Pokémon here. Alright, so the good thing is, Nidoking King is an offensive-type Pokémon, which means that, uh, you know... Obviously, I couldn't have one-hit KO'd Nidoking, Queen, but I could've one-hit KO'd him. Alright, right on, I'm gonna move first, right? Yep, Swampert's faster. 
that's the nice thing. Like, Swampert's not really a speed-type Pokémon, but up against Rock-types from the, uh, at least from the Kanto region, they're extremely slow, so even... You know, he should have sent out D Dugtrio against me a lot sooner. So Dugtrio's probably gonna kill off Swampert, right? I'm pretty darn sure. I don't wanna use Earthquake. I'm gonna use Earthquake. Just in case it goes underground. Will it be enough to kill me off? <laughs> oh, I should have used Surf. But I used Earthquake and Dugtrio is low hit points. So look at that! That's so cool! I defeated him with my Swampert with one hit point left. Ha, ah, that was an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here's the Earth Badge. Man, I was scared when he had, uh... The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. I was seriously thinking that Rhyperior was his second strongest Pokemon, and something else was even... even worse was coming out, but... <laughs> all's well that ends well. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. And here, take this Earthquake TM. Alright, so this is why I, uh, I decided I would give Swampert an early Earthquake. Now, of course, he's level 50 now, and he probably would have learned Earthquake at 50 or 52. I can't remember exactly when, but whatever. Earthquake came in handy before that, so I'm not sorry. Plus, I have another Earthquake to spare, so... Oh, man, it feels so good. Okay, so let's heal up at the Pokemon Center, and we're not going to go to the Unova region just yet. First, we have to do the most glorious thing in this game... Alright, uh, uh, back to the Pokemon Center. See, poor Alakazam got knocked out, but that's okay because he served his purpose well. This is why I still have- this is why I have two Psychic types on the team. Yeah, it seems kind of redundant, but this one is a fast one with high speed- high speed, high special attack. This one's a slow one, but has, like, really good everything else. So, you know, it works out. Okay, uh, what am I doing? What am I looking for? I guess I'm looking for Farfetch, bring Farfetch to the team here, and I don't know, who do I want to take out of the team? I guess I'll take Alakazam out of the team. Just for now. I mean, who knows, later on I might find use of it. Anyway, it is time for glory. Yes, it is time at la- why did I do that? It is time at last for Dragonair to become Dragonite. Okay, where are my rare candies? 15 rare candies overall, sell price 2,400. These things are pretty valuable, all right. Okay, did it, did it work? Oh, yep, it worked. It just didn't acknowledge or say anything. Okay, one rare candy... Two rare candies! What? Dragonair is evolving! Yes! Yes! What better way to celebrate my victory over the final 8th gem? Um... Dragonair evolved into Dragonite. Awesome! Okay, and Dragon Knight wants to learn Wing Attack, but it already knows four moves. Should I replace a move? Eh, whatever. I'll just go ahead and just have Wing Attack real quick. But I'm going to get rid of it immediately, so I don't even know why I'm doing that. Ta-da! Dragonair forgot Aqua Tail, or Dragonite. Dragonite learned Wing Attack. Okay, let's check out the stats on this thing. So, uh, comparatively speaking, so here's our canine, who now has... 150 hit points, which is nice. Um, 127 attack, 93, 112, 76, 106. So this is an Arcanine that's... You don't, you don't don't shake a stick at this thing. It's pretty good. Level 50, it's going to be even better. So this is a nice Arcanine. But now... Oop, level 5 stats. Now let's take a look at Dragonite. 177 hit points, 194 attack, 126 134, 118, 109. So Dragonite obviously is going to be my powerhouse when I take on the Elite Four. Now, let's go ahead and suit her up with the proper moves. Like, uh, for those of you familiar with Halo, if this were like the Spartan 2 program, um, I basically just uh, put Dragon Dragonair through the uh, augmentations, where, you know, your bones become, like, almost unbreakable, um, your internal organs are well guarded, and but now it's time to use the Mjolnir armor. So, um, let's go ahead and replace Waterfall. I I'm not going to need Waterfall for a long time. So, I'm gonna, now I have Dragon Claw out front. And Fly... Not going to need Wing Attack, so let's replace that. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to need Dragon Rush now that I've got Dragon Claw. Because I want Accuracy, okay? Too many times in this game, it's bit me in the butt that I didn't have Accuracy. Brick Break. Let's go ahead and give that to... Uh, Dragonite in place of Dragon. So now, here is my move pool. 
Dragon Claw, same type attack bonus, base power 80, accuracy 100. Uh, Brick Break, which... I'm going to bring that back up here. Brick Break, which is base power 75, 100. I now have a, another physical move for Dragonite. Surf, a special move, which Dragonite's special attack is still pretty good, so up against those rock types or anything else with a low special defense, this will come in handy. And since it's a water type move, it's good against everything except for, like, you know, grass types and other water types. And finally, Fly, which is 90 power. Um, you know, it used to be a little bit higher, but still, it'll be nice, especially on Dragonite. And, uh, you know what? What What the heck am I thinking here? You take Farfetch out of the park, but get out of here, Farfetched. I got a new flyer on the team now. Now watch, I'm gonna need to use Cut one last time, right? Okay, take your Pokemon, Pokemon are back to full health. Um, so, max obedience in this region is 62. So I gotta remember that. I cannot let Dragonite rise past 62, or any of my other Pokemon, but especially Dragonite. So, with this new... Obviously, best Pokemon on my team here. Um, I'm going to be returning to the Unova region in the next episode. Yeah, Vermilion City. And we are going to get through Victory Road, and we're going to take on the Elite Four. Um, I'm still kind of... I don't know. I, I still think that I'm going to need to stock up on heal items before I actually face the Elite Four in that region, because... I don't know. I, I've kind of lost my... Uh, my confidence ever since I lost to Archie. Like, freaking Team Aqua Archie. How do you lose to a guy like that? But I did, so... You know, I cannot underestimate the Elite Four now that this game's been updated. I have to be careful. Alright, so when we come back in the next episode, uh, get ready for the first push in Victory Road, and uh, hopefully I'll have everything I need and I won't need to come back for some stupid reason. We'll see, I guess. See you in the next episode.